What's going on guys, Vlad here and welcome back to the next video on Ignition. And today we finalized the installation. There was nothing to click besides just installing the ignition onto the Raspberry Pi after we finalized and at this point we can log into the ignition edge and as you can see I'm in the main view which is essentially this home tab right here and we're going to be looking at how to pass some tags from our Allen Bradley PLC the Compact Logix L24 ER that we've seen many many times into the ignition edge application in order to be able to use that tag for different data without any further delay let's get started before we get started with today's video, we just wanted to quickly point out all the great content we've been releasing on the Solus PLC YouTube channel. And this includes industrial automation, PLC programming, as well as HMI development. And if you enjoy this type of content, we would really appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell in order to receive the latest and greatest content we will be posting to the channel. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to notice is that the trial is probably going to be set to two hours, but every two hours the trial does, ex does expire and you do need to sign in in order to reset the trial. Now the sign in is going to be dependent on the login username and password that you've chosen during your installation process. For me, it's going to be these credentials. I'm going to click on sign in and at any point in time, you can just reset the trial by clicking this. A little reset button on the bar uh, which is going to be orange and once again the trial mode is going to reset to two hours giving you plenty of time to test the different features of ignition edge or the full version of ignition that being said what we're going to look at today like i said is how to link our tags back from the plc and just to give you a quick little reminder so the plc that i'm using once again that's the 1769-l24 er qb1b it is the plc that we've been programming for quite a while on this channel now and i do have a separate program which is set up in my uh, in my main task under our pi ignition um, edge and i do have a couple of little routines that i'm still working on but essentially there's going to be some faults, there's going to be some system statuses, but ultimately what we do need to look at are the tags which are created under those routines. So there's going to be a set of booleans, so 256 booleans, there's going to be 50 dents, 50 reels, and then 20 strings, and last but not least some internal tags to these routines that are not going to be passed, that's going to be 256 booleans. Now, what I'm going to do here, first of all, I'm going to add a new set of tags just so we can go through the process completely from the beginning. So I'm going to create this RPI, RPI, and I'm going to call this edge underscore, let's say Boolean number two. And it's going to be local, it's going to be bool and an array of 256 of them i'm going to press enter and the tag has been set in place now let's go back to our browser and i'm going to go down to opc clients and opc ua and here we're going to click on device connections so device connections is what's going to allow us to set up communications to different PLCs. And what you'll notice is that I already have the Allen Bradley PLC set up, but I'm going to just copy the name. I'm going to delete this PLC connection just so we can demonstrate that from the beginning. I'm going to delete the device and click on create new device. And here you'll see that there's going to be all kinds of different drivers depending on the flavor of the PLC that you're going to be connecting to. There's going to be a lot of different Allen Bradley drivers and some Siemens. And I believe you can install a few uh, a few different ones as well. So the driver that we're looking for, and you do need to pay attention to the firmware revision. So here it says the default one is connect to a Compact Logix firmware 20 and prior. Now remember that if we switch back to our Compact Logix, the version is going to be listed all the way at the top here, which is 30.11. So it's definitely not prior to version 20. It's definitely not a control logics with v20 and prior and next we have connect to allen bradley logics family devices including devices with firmware 21 plus which is exactly what we're looking for so we're going to select this driver like i said pay close attention to the type of plc you're using and i'm going to scroll down and press next at this point i'm going to give the plc a name it's already in there 
the description is optional enabled that's what we need and next we're going to give the ip address of course our raspberry pi which hosts the ignition edge needs to know exactly where the processor is located and if i switch back to the process processor you'll notice that the ip address is listed right here it's also listed on the spreadsheet that i've shown you a couple of videos ago and so we can put that into place there's going to be a few more options i I'm not extremely familiar with them, but we can just read the description. So the maximum amount of time to wait for uh, responses from the processor, we can definitely leave it at the default for now. Two requests, slot number zero. So this is important if you're using a, uh, not a compact logics, but essentially a control logics PLC, then it's going to be different depending on which PLC you're connected to. And optionally, there's going to be a path. We are connecting directly once again. And that seems to be fine. So we're going to create a new device and we have a PLC. We can see that its status is set to connected because the Raspberry Pi or Ignition Edge is going to try and ping that PLC and make sure that it's what we've specified. Next thing that we do need to check, which is actually really handy is this OPC Quick Client. So if we go into OPC Quick Client, we can look at the OPC UA server and here if i expand these uh, these folders on their devices you'll notice that we'll have our plc listed here and by browsing through here we can find the exact tag that we're looking for and just not to get you too confused once again a quick reminder under the main task we have this rpi edge ignition and we should find these tags under the local tag structure so let's see if we can find them and program, let's see here, ignition edge, RPI edge ignition. And the tag that we created at the beginning here was RPI edge underscore bool two. And if we expand this, you'll notice that the structure is a little bit different. And the reason for that is because the booleans are transferred in a different manner than what you would expect they are essentially treated as bundles of dints and that's because we are using an opc server and essentially it doesn't pass the full array but it breaks it down um, as demonstrated here but in total you should have the same amount of booleans they're just like i said referenced a little bit differently now our next step is going to be actually visualizing visualizing some of this data so if we go back to home you'll notice that there's going to be a um, a panel with Ignition Designer Launcher. Now you can either download this application, I've already done so, so I can just launch it from the desktop and I'm just going to open it right here. Now automatically, if you add a designer, it should be able to find the location on the Raspberry Pi. So for me, it's right here. And I can just, I can see that it's running. It's also running on my laptop and it's running on a separate uh, Windows server that I also have in the, uh, in my office. But essentially we can cancel out of this. You can add your own gateway and then you can click on this launch button. And what this is going to open is the design interface for your specific uh, ignition uh, panels. So from here, I'm not going to go into too many details in this situation, but I, what I do want to do is I do want to add the tag that we've created. So inside of this tag browser, you'll notice that we do have this program RPI ignition. That being said, the tag that we've added recently or the tag that we've added in this video is not in this list. Now, what you do need to find is we do need to find the OPC server. So we're going to click this browse OPC servers button and inside of this little pane, which you can actually keep inside of the, inside of this view, but it doesn't do much more than this. So let's actually, let's make it a little bit smaller like that. Inside of this panel, we can browse just like we did through the web interface. I can go into my devices. I can go into Solus PLC compact logics. And here I can find once again, the same program and I can find a tag that we've created. And what I can do is I can take this entire folder. I can definitely, I can select individual tags, but what I would like to do is take that entire array 
and I can drag this into the program over here. And at this point, what's going to happen is Ignition Edge is going to start looking at these tags. And if I expand this, I'm just going to kind of move this over so that we can see a little better that the values, like I said, they are treated as integers, but we can expand this and we can start we can start looking at the different booleans that we're getting from the PLC side. So let's just really quickly, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just so we can test the communication and make sure that everything is working as we would expect. So if I change my first Boolean, we should see a change right there for a second. And I'm just going to change a lot of different Booleans at random. And as you can see, the values are changing. So the Raspberry Pi, which is running Ignition Edge, is receiving the tags the way it should be. And of course, the tags that I've created previously, they are going to be used as well. So if I open the real array, and then I go back into my PLC, and so that's going to be mapped to this real array, and I type in some arbitrary number just to test it out. Let's see here. You can see it appear on the Raspberry Pi side, Pi side in Ignition Edge. So that's really cool. Everything is working. We're talking, like I said, we're passing tags from our PLC to our currently development environment, but we are going to be looking on how to set up projects, how to build different applications through this. But at the very core, you do need to understand how to pass tags from your different devices. And just to go back to the web interface, you can certainly configure multiple devices and you can be gathering tags and data from different sources at your plant facility. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. If you have any questions on this topic, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend five seconds of your time liking as well as sharing that video, if you've enjoyed it, that would mean absolutely the world to me. And if you have any suggestions for the channel, what kind of hardware software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that down there as well. See you next time. Take care. Bye.